when you ride. Some might call him Sorrel, some might call him Chestnut. I call him Chestnut, that's pretty the english term for it. Uh, quarter horse world has differentiations between Sorrel and Chestnut. Um, but for right now, we're just going to talk about the broad Chestnut family, okay? So, Apollo's color, he has this like reddish, orangish, brownish color. And his mane and tail are the same color as his body, okay? So he's a chestnut or a sorrel. I think his papers say sorrel. How about you? I think the differentiation is sorrel is more reddish, coppery-ish, and chestnut's more brownish. So here is our first color, chestnut or sorrel. Some chestnuts can also have a, a flaxen mane and tail is what it's called, and that's when their mane and tail is like a really light blonde or white color. So that's another option for chestnuts, but Apollo just has the same color mane and tail and four lax as his body. Okay? Alright, let's go to the next color. So the next horse color we're going to talk about is similar in the same family as one we already talked about. So this is Roy. And he is also technically a chestnut, but he has a different classification. So he's a liver chestnut is what that's called. Stay away from So he's a liver chestnut. So that means instead of being really reddish or orangey like Apollo is, he's more brown. He does still have a little bit of orange tinges to him, but he's mostly pretty brown. And then his mane and tail, are about the same color as the rest of his body, it's just a little bit darker, okay? I realize he doesn't have a lot of mane. He did not get uh, blessed with good hair genes, unfortunately, so he that's all the mane he ever grows. I never cut it or anything, this is just how it looks. So you can see it's a little bit darker than his actual skin tone, but then the rest of him is all this brown color, okay? And his body and his legs are all the same color. So the next color we're going to talk about is Izzy's color. Now most people call Izzy a buckskin, which is correct, that's part of her coloring, but the other part is dun, so she's a buckskin dun. So we're going to talk about both of those parts and what they mean. So the buckskin part is this golden, kind of yellowish, blondish body color okay, that she has all over her body. And then the other part of buckskin is her mane and tail, and then her legs are a black color, black or brown. But hers are pretty dark black, okay? So her mane, tail, and legs, unless she has markings, are black, and then her body is this creamy, yellow, golden kind of color, okay? So that's the buckskin part. She really wants to eat grass. Yeah, I know. She also has little black tips on her ears, too. So, that's the buckskin part. And then the done part of her coloring means she has a couple different features. She has a stripe that you probably can't see very well. I'll try to get extra video showing it. But it's called a dorsal stripe. And there's a darker stripe that goes all the way along her back down her rump. And then the other part of being a dun is there's a few very light, they're called zebra stripes, on her legs, right where the color changes from darker to lighter. And I'll have to get you closer so you can see them because they're kind of hard to see from that far away. But that's what makes her a dun. So the other common color of dun is a red dun, and that's more of like a chestnut color, like Apollo. Uh, but they also have a dorsal stripe and zebra stripes on their legs like Izzy does, so that makes them a red dun, and Izzy is a buckskin dun. So that's Izzy, and I'll bring you closer so you can see her dorsal stripe and her zebra stripes on her legs. Okay, so here, we're going to try and do this while she's eating, you can see this dorsal stripe that goes, starts here at her withers and goes all the way down her back, right to her tail, so that's her dorsal stripe. Okay, and then her zebra stripes are really faint. They're hard to see, so I'm going to show you. You can kind of see them. Can't see where I'm pointing. There, 
in there. They're really faint. There's not very many of them, but you see a little bit of striping. And then over here, they're even shorter. They're just little nubs of stripes. So those are her zebra stripes on her legs. They're faint, but they're there. Some horses, you can see them a lot better. It doesn't help that she's still fluffy too from winter. So there's her done, her done characteristics. Her dorsal stripe on her back and then her faint zebra stripes on her legs. Okay, so the next horse color we're gonna talk about is Bay. So this is Otter and she's a little bay. So bays have this brown body color. It can sometimes be a little more reddish or it can go all the way to be pretty dark brown and almost black. But she's kind of right in the middle of that. She's kind of dark, but she's still got a little bit of a reddish tint to her. And then her mane and her tail and her legs are black. So that's what makes a bay, is the brown body with the black mane and tail, okay? All right, so that's bay. Okay, so our next horse we're gonna do is duck. And I'm gonna start with a little apology that she's not perfectly clean. As you can see, she's hard to keep clean uh, because of her color. Uh, so she does have mud on her legs. So she's just dirty, that's not part of her color. Um, I'm just trying to hurry up and film this. It's supposed to snow tonight, even though it's 70 degrees today. So I'm trying to get a lot done today. All right, so Duck is probably my most unique colored horse. Um, so she's called a Cremello. And that means, so Cremellos have a couple different characteristics. Um, one of them is pink skin. And you can see well around her eyes and her nose, that pink skin that we're talking about. But she has pink skin all over her body too, under her hair. Um, the other thing she has that Carmelos have are blue eyes. So I'll get you closer so you can see too, but her eyes are really light blue. characterization is their coat color is either a creamy, very, very light, uh, like lighter than Izzy uh, cream color to a white. And as you can see, she's on the white end of that spectrum. Um, when she was a baby, I'll see if I can find a baby picture of her that um, the lady who raised her sent me. Um, but when she was really, really tiny, she had um, cream spots. As she grew up, that shed out and she lightened. And so now she's just all white. And when she's clean, she's actually white, not this yellowish color that she is right now because she's dirty. <laughs> so this is Duck. She's a Cremello horse because of her pink skin, blue eyes, and her white coloring. But it could be all, all the way to cream too. So the last horse color we're going to talk about today is probably the easiest one to remember because it doesn't have a funny name like a lot of the other ones do. So this is Claude and he's just a black horse, okay? So that's easy to remember, right? He looks black, so he's black. You will see on him and a lot of other black horses, um, sometimes you'll get these spots that look a little bit more brown like here on his flank. Sometimes he gets them um, up by his jaw or by his belly. Sometimes on their rumps they'll get some. They're little, just little brown spots. And that's just because they get sun bleached. So if they live out in the sun all the time like Claude does, um, sometimes the black will lighten into more of a brown. To prevent that you would have to keep them inside more or keep a sheet on them that keeps the UV rays off of them. Uh, but we don't really care if Claude's pure black or not, so he doesn't need that. Uh, but that's why you'll see some brown spots on horses that are actually black. Alright, so this is Claude, the black horse. And that was our last horse color for today. Um, so, we went over chestnut, liver chestnut, bay, buckskin, cremello, and black. 
So those are all the horse colors we did today. Come on, buddy. The other thing I did, and you guys can comment on this, um, I made all the horses try on the new purple and gray halter that we got in our mystery box. Um, so you saw them all in it today, so you can comment below who uh, you thought looked best in the halter and who you think should get it. It's a little bit big on Duck, so Duck probably won't end up with it even if you guys like it the best. Um, but everyone else fit in it pretty good, so we'll have to decide who's going to get it or if they're going to share it. But they all look pretty smart in it. Yeah. Alright, well that's all for our horse colors. Thanks for watching you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye! Say bye, bud. Say bye. Say bye.